Welcome back to my channel, Real Tailgate Outdoors. I'm your host, Grant. Just got up, staying overnight at the Grandview Lodge here in Brainerd. And uh, today, I'm headed with my buddy, Pear, to the Brainerd Ice Fishing Extravaganza. I'm super excited for this video. You know, a lot of planning's went into this, so can't wait to get out there, start filming, and uh, yeah, win a prize, right? Let's try, I'm gonna try and place, uh, you know, the uh, catch of the day is tulipy. Um, you know, I did a bit of scouting and, you know, there's a lot of holes for the contest that are over deep water. Um, so I'm not sure yet, you know, met target Tulaby, could target Northern. You know, I feel like a Northern will normally win this tournament just due to, you know, the sheer size of those fish. So I uh, can't wait to get out there and I got gear for everything. So let's go. Alright, made it out to the contest, just walking out from the uh, parking on the ice here. Got my buddy Fair. Howdy y'all. We're walking out there, got all our gear. I think we're bringing too much, but pretty typical for me to overpack, so I think I'm doing good. I just got one sled, didn't even need like my extra sled support, so I mean this is great. I'm learning minimalism. All right, just walking through this ice fishing extravaganza. Once we got past the entrance into the ice fishing show, it was so cool to see all the American flags lining the plowed ice road. Uh, leading up to all the vendors that they had here at the Brainerd Ice Fishing Extravaganza. A lot of these vendors were also at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show, which I was able to go to earlier in the year in December. And I'll link my video up in the corner where I uh, interviewed some people, uh, met with some of the vendors, and uh, just explored the ice fishing show. But yeah, getting in here at the tournament, uh, we can see walking through it here. We're gonna pretty soon here have the uh, Brainerd Fire Department come by and They had a pretty decked out side-by-side -side with some tracks on it. It's pretty cool to see that uh, See the Brainerd Fire Department and a lot of the uh, Brainerd community out at the ice fishing show uh, We can see there's lots of food vendors there uh, briefly caught a glimpse of some corn Got some cheese curds advertised at that food here, truck. Huh? Uh, there's also ice defense there, the water circulation device so your hole doesn't freeze. Uh, even T-Mobile, which uh, I mean, you don't really fish with your cell phone, but I suppose they wanted to uh, sell you all the uh, ice fit, uh, get you some new uh, phones out there, more food vendors for cheese curds. And I'll spin around here in a second for some fur caps. Oh and for coats that were for sale there and there's actually some people wearing those which was uh pretty fun to see here we got some uh, cabins up for sale uh, another pretty nice uh, side by side here and uh, this is just kind of the main strip going in so this is one of the benefits of staying at the grandview lodge you got their own hospitality tent All right, as you can see over here, we got the uh, weigh-in tent. One of the highlights was seeing the ice fishing extravaganza Walk of Fame, which showed all the winners of the contest since it started in 1991. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of eel pout in the early years of the contest, moved into some northern and walleye. Uh, those nine pound walleye would be, you know, catches of a lifetime. Uh, looks like there's also some nine pound northern pike. And then in the uh, mid 2000s, it looked like the winning fish uh, went down a bit in size. There's some two pounders, some five pounders. Uh, still really nice walleye. And they're getting a bit bigger again as you get into the 2010s. Uh, 2014 and 2015, got some nice northern. 
And then as we move ahead here to 2020, we see the measurement changes to inches, which is because the contest had to be held virtually. All right, check out what you get for first prize here. New Ford F-150 here. Pretty cool. Worth 40,000 here, check that out. Pretty cool. Got Radco truck accessories here. Could win a big accessory package for your truck. Or else, if you don't want the Ford, you can get the GMC. Check this guy out. Wow. So they're both single cab, long bed. Like this one's got 4x4. Four four. Pretty fancy looking tail lights. Wow. Now this is what we're after, guys. Check this out. Nothing. Alright, so this one looks like 41,000. Check out the inside. Yeah, let's do it. There, I got it. There we go. Oh yeah. So they pre-drill all the holes out here, 20,000 holes. So it's pretty important you bring your ice chisel so you can get in because you know they're going to freeze over pretty good overnight. Also want your ice chisel, that's for sure. So we just checked out our first hole here, we're actually at 60 feet of water. So great for catching that fish of the day, the tulubi. Northern's probably 15. Alright, we're off to the next hole here. Uh, still in about 50 feet of water, so we're trying to decide if you want to fish deep. A lot of people are over here in the deeper water. Not a ton of people in this area, it's kind of the transition zone between shallow and deep. Uh, shallow water is, you know, of course going to be towards the shore. So I can see there's a group of people near to the shore up here, kind of by the edge of the contest. Uh, so we keep moving this way. Still got about two hours before the tournament actually starts. Uh, it's about, you know, 9.50 right now. So still got some good time to scout and find some areas here. Looks like we're going to stop. Got a really frozen one here. Huh. <laughs> wow. Whew. Still making our way over to some shallower water. Check out the map here. Still in about 26 feet. Still in 25 feet, so it's on to the next toll. All right, well, as you saw, we had about 25 feet at the last hole. So we're going to check out this shallower depths here. Keep going towards the road, uh, towards the more shallow edge of the contest here. 
Uh, let's see how deep we are on the map. Oh. So right here, we're in about 13 feet. Yeah, I think so. All right, so this is about the shallowest the holes go here at the tournament, at about eight feet. Uh, we've seen a couple of markings near the bottom. Uh, I was kind of looking for weeds. Uh, you know, unfortunately, not really seen any weeds on the locator here. All right, so we are seeing a couple things come through really, really tight on the bottom. Uh, not really sure what that would be. We're gonna head over to the deep over here. You can see there's a pretty big gathering of people way at the outer edge of the contest down here. So we're gonna go check that out. Oh, we still got time here before we start fishing. See what it's all about down there. And then uh, decide where we're gonna go. All right, so right now we're en route to the deeper water out here. Got some pretty cool uh, sherps up here. We're gonna check those out along the way. One of these sherps out here. Another sherp in motion, guys. Alright, so we're here in about 60 feet. There was one marking at about 20 feet right now. As we pan around here, we can see there's a lot of people showing up at the contest here. We're getting closer to the start time. There's some more people showing up in the shallows, probably going for the northerns. And there's still a large group of people probably going for some tulipy in the deeper water. Alright, so we got a fish, large Holy fish shit. at the bottom here in 60 feet. So... <laughs> this is big. A big marking, guys. Really big. Uh, my guess is probably a burbot being this deep in the bottom. I think it's a burbot. So this is the advantage of going to Grandview Lodge. Look what we're getting out here on the ice for uh, food, some beer. And it's uh, it's great beer and it's it's great food. I can vouch for it. We got it's Bud Light and then chili cheese dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're about ten minutes away from actually about five minutes now from the. Uh, ice fishing contest started. I got a spoon right now with a minnow head. Uh, so that's what I'm starting with for my bait. Uh, I've got this on a, some braided line. I've actually got 20 pound braid on this rod. And I've got about a, a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, so hopefully this is you know abrasion resistant enough and that way I'm a bit more inconspicuous than having this you know, braided line down there. Uh, and hopefully this is the way to go.
from right now to begin fishing in the Dropping down. Just caught this uh, micro perch here. I'm gonna go bring it up here, get it weighed. Check it out. Might be on the board for a little bit. We'll see here. But micro perch, this should be fun. I'm here at the weigh-in tent, and I got this giant, giant perch here. <laughs> wow, got a zoom on it here. You got a good zoom? Nice, nice. Wow. <laughs> cool. Uh, who knows? You on the board? Uh, no, I don't think so. Didn't quite make it. Someone beat me with like a tenth of a pound perch. So. <laughs> well, like you're in the top 150, right? No, I think that's, that's done. Stuff over here too. I've been just trying to hop every hole. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll just leave the ice fishing extravaganza. Uh, how do you think it went, Pear? <laughs> um, it was a fun experience. Fishing was rough. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Fishing was definitely rough, but I caught like this, you know, five inch perch. Um, that was about it. Uh, I was trying for something a bit larger and I essentially put down my jig to see if it was perch, which it was. But uh, heading off the ice here, it was a pretty fun event. One of the coolest things about this tournament is reviewing the results online. So I'll link this down in the a video description. Uh, it looks like the largest fish was about a 9.15 pound northern pike caught by these guys from Texas, so congrats to those guys. Uh, they got that new truck, which is awesome. Uh, it looks like number two followed up with about a 5 pound walleye, and number three about a 4 and 3 quarter pound walleye. Uh, you know there's some bigger prizes scattered after these first three, and I know number 100 was the brand new ice castle. So it looks like that was about a 9 tenths of a pound tulabee. So congrats to the guy from Egan here. Got that tulabee. And I know number 150 uh, looks as about a 0.61 pound perch from Foley, Minnesota. They won an ATV too. So pretty cool prizes. Kind of interesting how they're spaced out. Uh, catch of the day was for a tulabee. Uh, looks like it was almost a one and a half pound tulabee for the catch of the day. And looks like this guy here also won an ice castle from Little Falls, Minnesota. So congrats to him as well. Stay tuned for what Per and I are gonna change up next year and kinda take away from this year. You know, it's our first year uh, fishing the tournament for both of us. And I uh, got a few thoughts here on uh, what we're gonna do different next year and we'll close out this video. What did you think of today, Grant? You know, I think uh, we put our best effort in. You know, we uh, tried two different spots during the tournament. Uh, both we had marked fish at, you know, before we started. And uh, didn't pull anything up, but I know the five inch perch. But kind yeah, of the way it goes, still a great time. What would you do differently next year if you could? Ooh, differently next year, uh, I'd probably stay in the deep next year. And if 60 feet didn't work, I'd move to 80 feet. Would you change anything as far as your tackle goes? Yeah, I probably, uh, 
it seemed like he didn't need as big of a fish as I expected to place. Um, so I think I would change to uh, trying to catch just like a normal size walleye, normal size white fish, you know, or cisco. Um, and then uh, I think you're pretty much going to place, or at least have a better chance than trying to just fish for, you know, a bigger fish. Um, because I think even if you're fishing for something small, you got a chance of, you know, catching the number one fish. Right. So, it's probably the biggest takeaway for me. What about you? Uh, I would probably get something more geared for Tulaby. After a great day out on the ice at the Ice Fishing Extravaganza, nothing better than heading my room at the Grandview Lodge. Uh, thanks for checking out this video, and I hope you leave me a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Can't wait to share my future uploads with you guys, and I'll see you with my next video.